Hey guys, this is AK April Films, and today I'm going to give you my top 10 video of Mac tips and tricks. So I hope you'll learn something today. Some of these might be stuff that you already know, but I hope you'll pick up something new. So no more further ado, why don't we get to this video right now. So the first tip that I'm going to show you today is how you can use Spotlight to perform simple and more complex commands. So first, let's do like a math equation. So it's a very, very fast input and you can get the answer right there. You can also search up for definitions. And then you can go to Volcano and look that up right here. And then from here, it will give you a definition and you can also find more information like pictures and all that kind of good stuff. So Spotlight is very handy for those kind of commands, and you can also search for apps, files, pictures, and more. So it's a very nice and convenient way of getting the information you want very quickly. So the next tip I'm going to show you is how you can have a slideshow as your computer background. Many people want to do this, but don't know how, so I'll show you how to do now. First go to System Preferences, then go to Desktop and Screensaver, and here are all your backgrounds. You can go to iPhoto, find all the pictures you want we want to turn on is change picture. So you want to click on that and then it'll cycle through this whole album every so often you can configure that right down here. So that's a very handy tip and why don't we go to our next one. So now I'll show you how you can use Launchpad to search for apps and to make folders. So open Launchpad up either by clicking on the icon or using the finger shortcut. Here all your apps will appear and you can scroll through your pages if you have many apps. So to create a folder, all you have to do is drag an icon onto the other, and that will create a folder. And you can also rename it up there and do whatever you want. But then you can just drag it out to put it back onto your list of apps. So to search for an app, all you do is you go to the search bar up here, and you can search for the apps. Or calculator and do all that. So you can press enter, or you can click on the icon to open it up. Now, I'll show you how you can use dictation on your Mac so you can input text using your voice. So first, you want to open up System Preferences to turn dictation and speech on. So press on this, and now you want to turn on dictation. And you can configure settings down here. And from there, you're all pretty much set up. So all you want to do is open up an app that you enter text with. So for instance, I'll use Notes. So to turn on dictation, you press Fin Fin to turn that on. This is dictation comma. All you have to do is enter text with your voice. So that got it very accurately and that was very easy. So I'll save you a lot of time and I'll make you a more fluent Mac user. So the next step I'm going to show you is how you can change your dock. So first of all we want to go to system preferences and go to dock. And from here you can change the size, you can change the magnification, so when it's at a minimum, you don't get that magnification, but when you bring it up to max, you get that cool magnif magnification. So we can also change the position on the screen, like if we want it on the left, we can do all that. Also, we can change to minimize windows. The genie effect is this. So it goes and it minimizes like that. Well, the scale effect, it'll go like this. So they're very different, but you can always change that later. So you can also adjust the settings down here, and that's pretty much it. So let's say I want to put this on the bottom. So what you do is you go to this divider tab, and you press shift, and then you drag it. And then you can also drag up and down by hovering over here. You'll get that little uh, arrow. So you can always do that, and that's a very handy shortcut that you can also do. So why don't we go to our next tip right now. So for tip number six, I'm going to show you how you can take a screenshot with your keyboard shortcuts. So what you want to do is there's two commands, Command Shift 3 and Command Shift 4. So for Command Shift 3, that will take a full screenshot of your whole entire screen, and then you can drag that to whatever folder you want, but I'll just throw it away in the trash, because I don't have any need for that. Also, another tip is that you can do Command Shift 4. This will pop up with a little target, and from here you can take a screenshot of whatever you want in the selection that you choose. So then you can take a screenshot like that, 
you can open it up in preview and you can see how that looks. It's a nice quality so it can be used in a variety of things so I just think that's a very helpful tip. So the next tip I'm going to show you is how to get the background of an image transparent of your choice. So first you want to open up the image. And just one thing to keep in mind is you want to have an image with a flat background. Like I mean with a solid background like white or blue or whatever color. So next what you want to do is you want to go to selection tools and you want to go to instant alpha. And from here you can choose the color of your choice. When you do that, you want to press delete. And then you want to convert this to PNG. It'll get it pretty much perfect, but you can edit it all you want. So then you go to save, and then it'll save the image as having a transparent background. And from here you can put it in whatever project that you're working on. So this next tip is very easy that you can use in your everyday Mac experience. It's how to move something to the trash without physically dragging it. So what you want to do is do Command delete. They'll move it right to the trash. But to empty the trash without going to it and pressing empty trash, all you have to do is press Command Shift delete. And that'll bring up a dialog box that you can press empty trash. But without bringing that dialog box, you can do Command Shift Option delete. They'll erase it without the dialog box, and they'll make everyday Mac experiences a lot faster. So another quick tip is customizing your Safari toolbar. So all you have to do is go up to Safari and here's your toolbar. And then you want to right click on it and press customize toolbar. And from here you can drag things to your toolbar such as zoom, iCloud, tabs, share, open, and dashboard and all these other things. Or if you want to bring it back to its default you can drag the default toolbar up into the toolbar. So the last tip that I'm going to show you today is how you can enable your battery percentage up in your toolbar here. So what you want to do is go up to the battery icon and right click on that and you want to show percentage. And then the percent of your battery will show here. This will come in handy if you don't know how much time you have left on your Mac until it dies. You can also turn that off right here. And you also can see how much time you have remaining and what power source you are using. For instance, I'm using my battery. So that's a nice tip. So if you like this video, please press the like button and please leave a comment. Also subscribe and there will be more videos coming your way in a little bit. So thanks for watching and hope these tips helped your Mac experience.